And we are back for the season finale on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Today is going to be a fun one. We're going to be taking the canola and we're going to be swathing it up. So we're going to be utilizing our Kloss Lexian US. We're going to be utilizing our Heston Mower Swatha. And we're going to have a good time. So first things first, we do still need to run a headland around everything. We don't have our dirt skirt in yet, so we're just going to... Well, run this and, and be done with it. <laughs> Hopefully everything's going to be good there. We do need to fuel up as well, so we need to figure out how we're going to do that. I don't, I don't actually have a fuel stop on here, so um, yeah. Oh, we should probably also take both these headers with us, so let's do this the easy way. And this is why I love these kinds of headers. It's just so easy to unfold them, fold them up, get them going, and rock and roll. Now, I do love this Klaus-Lexian combine, but I have considered swapping this out for the Colossus. Now, it's not a, uh, a, a well, a U.S.-style Klaus, even though it is technically this combine, or, or at least a uh, U.S. version of the one in the game. But I still think uh, we'll probably hang on to this, and we may just get the Lexian 700 if we're going to do any upgrades. I really like these, and I think this series specifically just kind of deserves to have this combine as it's, well, the, the combine that we use. I think it's the perfect one, and I don't feel like using any other one. That being said, Chris, I'm definitely going to be using that thing sometime, so... Definitely keep a lookout for it. It's awesome. And we should be good to go in here. I don't think we're going to have any problems. We will double check to make sure straw swath is enabled. Yes, it is. Uh, we should just get a normal amount of straw. Shouldn't have anything wild. Shouldn't see anything crazy in here. We should just get a very, very normal straw swath off of this canola. And we are. Perfect. So we will go and hit our uh, little... Uh, well, I was about to say the dirt skirt, the one singular headland all the way around so we get away from all that grass, that way we're not losing anything, and then we'll get in here with the swather, which is always fun, but we gotta do it all ourselves, so that's always fun. So far, so good, and we're actually getting a lot of canola off of this field. We're about halfway done, I would say, with the first pass, and we're already up to 11,500 liters, so we're we're doing okay. I think we're going to get a bunch off of this field. A whole lot more than I was expecting. And it's the big field as well. So we're going to be doing a lot of it this, this episode. So Edlin is done. And we've got 21,000 liters of canola. That's pretty good at least to start off with. But I think we could do better. And by that I mean I totally forgot to do this side of the field too. Crap. I will probably go through and like raise up these areas in the middle where there's water and plow that up just so we can make maybe some bigger areas i mean here we go some areas with trees i'm cool keeping those but i do think it is about time that we uh, get rid of some of these ditches and make some of these big fields i mean that was one of the things that they said that we could do with this map so we may end up doing that this time around here we go baby oh yeah we get to use the heston baylor baby this is not a baylor Crap. Fun fact, this is also what we're going to use to mow with, too. I figured, you know, I mean, it's it's a good mower, and we're just going to be picking stuff up, so this is going to be perfect. I do need to find a silo that turns grass into silage, but that's really it. I also need to get a hold of a tether, because we're going to have to ted this grass, too. Normally, I just cheat it, but since we're since we're all this way, since we're here... We just may as well just do this the uh, the right way and, and get it over with. Speaking of getting it over with, let's do this field first, I think. Double check, make sure fast farming is on. Yes, it is. All right, let's do this bit first. I'm just going to go either back and forth or maybe we'll hit a uh, little run right here in the middle. I'm not quite sure yet. This... This field's not very big. Also, I do know that I could go all the way over and make a bigger swath, like do a double swath and pick those up. However, it is a little bit easier for me to pick up one swath at a time. I would rather just do one big swath and have to miss just a little bit here and there than do it the other way around. I may have cut a little bit of grass back there. 
Oops. The only thing though, when you're swapping, man, you gotta be conscious of where you are putting the swath. Are you putting it to the left? Are you putting it to the right? Are you accidentally cutting grass? Is it too close to this? Is it cl too close to that? You, you just gotta be careful, that's all. But you know, it's it's kinda fun. I'm I'm really enjoying it. I know me and uh, me and Clutch Simulation spoke recently on Farm Sim Show podcast about how we both really enjoyed swathing, even though you can't hire a worker and nothing like that. It's it's just an enjoyable experience. This and picking it up both. It's bringing just something different, something new and unique to Farming Simulator that um, I I really do think that this or just something new has been missing. It, it's, it feels great, it feels new, it feels fresh. Um, it would be really awesome to see this type of thing come in a future game or maybe in a future update to the game. Uh, I don't think anyone would complain about that. And now we get into the fun part. Yeah, the big field. This, as you have seen previously, does take a hot minute. What I'm gonna try and do is be as precise with it and run with it just like this as much as I can, just like we did the last time around. So we'll be doing one run like this. I'm gonna do another run pushing into the inside. And then we're gonna try and make as many straight lines in this as possible. It is gonna take some time, but man, oh man, is it worth it. You know what? You should jump on the game right now too. Jump on, jump on Edgewater. Get to swathing, dude. It's a lot of fun. And I'm, uh, well, I'm done for the first first pass. I got We got to turn around and do that all again. It, it does take a little while to do all of this. That is the only downside. Again, uh, you can't hire a worker on it either, at least at the time of recording this video. Uh, it is an impossible feat. So just heads up there. All these little spots, we're going to try and hit these smaller areas first. And the good thing is, come through there just like that. Awesome. Spin it around and hit it this way. There we go. So that is the whole idea there. Now we could go back and forth and we'll hit as many straight lines through here as we can. Boop. There's one and two. You guys get the idea? That's what we're going to try and do throughout the entire thing to make it as easy as possible to come through and pick up the swath. For the first set, not terrible not bad at all so we are now done with the singular headland which is taking forever and now it is time to go back and forth baby back and forth it's it's a lot easier than it sounds i promise so we just hit this try to get it lined up just right and do this a lot and it'll look like this bam what do you think about that? A very, very almost perfect setup. No workers, just DJ Goham doing what he does, making it look fresh. I mean, some of the some of the spots you could probably ignore because they don't look the greatest. But I mean, look at it. I did pretty good for as much as I could have done bad. I mean, that's that's pretty good, right? I'm so excited to use this. Yes, 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 yes. Let's. Go, man! Drop it down, turn it down, and watch the magic unfold. There's the normal straw coming out as I'm using the straw swath mod, and we will slowly but surely make our turn there. And I did miss a little bit. That's that's on me. That's on me. We're gonna have to come back for that. But this. This is so cool, man. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, it does bounce a little bit, but we don't seem to miss any. Only when we're turning. So that makes me happy. At least everything's going good. Everything's going great. And all we got to do is pick all of this up. I do suspect that I'm going to have to un uh, unload at some point. So we'll see, uh, see about where we have to do that at. So after the first run around... We've done uh, kind of okay, actually. Kind of okay. We've picked up almost twice as much as we did coming around through. I think we had about 30,000 uh, 30, liters, something like that. We had a lot of straw. Got a, a whole lot of straw. That's for darn sure. But didn't uh, we didn't get as much canola as I thought. I thought we would for sure be like 
a whole lot more than than what we have but you know what that's eh, okay it is what it is i'm not gonna worry too much about it we are gonna come through here with the big wind rower so i'm just gonna hit it as we go through I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm just going to hit it all. Go, go, go. Well, we in the field and we about full. So we're going to have to take the truck and go. Uh, we'll do what we do with the truck. Got a little bit too much in there. The issue as well is the truck only has a 100,000 liter capacity. Let's see if we could do this the, uh, the, the wrong way. Yay! <laughs> if it works, it works. Am I right? Yeet. Oh, boy. <laughs> so uh yeah the the combine and the truck have the same capacity so 80 percent in one is 80 percent in the other so we need to start trying to figure out where we can sell the canola of course saskatchewan that's gonna be the the most obviously but i don't want to rent the train so it looks like in here edgewater grain is gonna be the place to go i think that's right over there it is so we will uh well, I guess wait until we need to fill up again. Yeah? Yeah. Did I just jump in the truck again? Come on now. Just an update. We are almost done, man. We have got all of this. And then we make a little turn. And then we do like that. Yeah, I've got a little loop at the end. But you know what? With the loading wagon that we're using, it ain't gonna matter. We've got two-ish. Three more. Three more bits to go. And everything's going great. Man, I gotta tell you. I told you at the beginning of the video, if you're not swathing on Edgewater, I don't know what you're doing because it is so much fun. Yeah, go, 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 go. And here's the last of it right through there. Get it swathed and done. Now we still have a little bit on the other field, like way, way up there. We're gonna hit that right now. I don't know if this is gonna be a good idea or not, but we should totally try this just to see. All right. Let's come through here. Let's turn it on. We're gonna bounce. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, not, not quite, not quite where I wanted to be with this, but it did work. So whatever. So this is the one where it was a little bit interesting. I know I gotta make this turn right here. I don't know if it's gonna pick it all up though. It doesn't seem to like to pick stuff up at an angle from the sides, but it picks it up if you're going straight on. So at least there's that. So I think what we may do here is do a little flip around. It also won't deposit this on top of the other crop. As you saw right there, it just kind of takes a little break with it. Yep. And right over. So yeah, at least that works. This is it right here. The end of harvest, baby. At least this this harvest the end of harvest for this video today right now there's there's no more harvest in this video yeah <laughs> at least right now all right let's go ahead and dump as much as we can into there we'll get in here start this up and we've got two cells that we need to make cell number one brought us three hundred and ninety five thousand thousand dollars that's epic all right let's see if we could do this i don't know if i'm gonna be able to pass this car and make it i can't do it go i gotta go over here <laughs> i'm telling you what man this main stretch it is bumpy it is hilly and it is almost like trying to get through traffic in gta it's kind of fun and sale number two has brought us 177 thousand dollars so now we're up to 1.2 million which is more than enough to maybe redo some equipment, maybe do some repainting, or definitely reinvest in a new farm and or fields. We're still doing okay, we're still doing all right, but I think at least for now, for season one, that's where we're gonna call it. Let's see if we can jump in front of this guy. Yeah, got him. Uh, we will start season two by picking up all this straw and getting it, well, found a silo for it because we have got to keep it all we're going to be keeping every bit of the straw we're not going to be making any money from it we're going to be using for a cow feed we're going to be using for bedding for the stir great way to great way to end that up that was going to happen eventually and then we're going to be remodeling this field a little bit and maybe some surrounding areas as well that way it's just a little bit easier to farm in so oh <laughs> yay We'll see you guys then.